grade furling. In the local car shop, I kind of made friends with the owner there. He gave me a lot of parts. I told him what I was doing. He said he wants to support renewable energy projects, um, and I'm actually going to help him build his own turbines. So what I have here are a lot of different motors. There's a small fan motor, larger fan motor, an alternator, which I'm going to try and convert to a PMA, and uh, another motor. So these are all things that are going to help me generate more power from this wind turbine. So I'm in here with music working, building up a new generator that creates more power. And while this is happening, on the roof, the wind turbine is spinning and producing power. So I got this um, car fan motor for free. Um, what's great about this is it's a very flat motor. It means that um, the motor windings, they move a lot inside. So you get a high voltage at low speed. Now, if I can just spin this by hand, this is a 3 to 1 ratio. There's a 6 inch pulley here on the blades and a 2 inch pulley on the motor. I can just do this by hand and I can get up to um, 1 volt pretty easily. Just with a very low speed. This is only a 3 to 1 ratio and I was running a 7 and a third to one ratio and I got similar voltages so I'm getting uh, more than double the voltage that I did uh, with the other motor so this motor is going to give me a lot more power. It starts up way easier so I'm going to um, almost double the ratio now I'm going to do a 10 um, inch to a 2 inch will be a 5 to 1 so this is a 3 to 1 and that will make a huge difference and then I think I'll be in a really good range for charging a one lithium ion cell battery or a couple in parallel. So I have a 10 inch um, pulley and a 2 inch pulley, so it's a 5 to 1 ratio. If I could just spin this with my hands, you can see the voltage go up. So about 60 RPM, somewhere around 1.8 uh, volts, but then I can spin it up and I, I got as high as 3.7. So that's not even spinning that fast and it could charge my battery. It's really amazing. So I'm going to put this on the roof now and see what voltage I get. Doesn't look very stable on the. That's 600 RPM. Just amazed how much power I've increased. Every time I test, I double or triple or quadruple the power I'm making. I'm going to get a lot of watt hours out of this motor now. And I might even try and spin it faster because it starts up so easily. This motor is exactly what you need no cogging, very low friction, uh, so that the wind turbine can start up and spin very easily a great generator. So the only problem is that it's very small. I think I can only get 24 watts max and this wind turbine can get 500 uh, watts or more uh, if I had the right generator. So this would be good for a micro wind turbine. So the furling is really saving us from exploding. That is 600 RPM. 600. The turbine is really spinning like crazy. 825, 828. It's very constant. Very strong. And this whole system is less than $10. It's been spinning like this off and on for pretty much four hours. So this tiny little belt, this uh, thermo shrink plastic tubing for electrical projects. Uh, it's amazing <laughs> how many how many revolutions it's done, how much friction is on this belt and it's not, hasn't snapped yet, it hasn't fallen off. I had a lot of problems where it was jumping out of the circles here, the pulleys, but what I have to do is line them up perfectly, make sure there's enough tension and that the groove is uh, deep enough in both pulleys. So that's how the furling works. When there's enough pressure pushing on the wind turbine, it wants to rotate this way and then the tail folds in. So you see every, there's a gust of wind, you can see it go further in. So now the wind is coming from this angle so we don't get a full profile of wind on the wind turbine. This prevents it from uh, getting destroyed in high winds. So really we can stay at our maximum um, power, maximum pressure pushing on the wind turbine and spinning the blades. So we don't go over it and we don't have to shut off the wind turbine, we can just level out at the maximum.